Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Klonoa, Empire of Dreams for the Game Boy Advance, and this was requested by DeSparkRunner back in 2013, 2014? I think? I just now got around to playing it, and... If you're wondering why it took so long for me to get to this... Mostly, it was because I had a pretty lousy computer. Matter of fact, when I started doing Let's Plays, I had pretty lousy computers to work with. And I did not know if what I had would be able to run Game Boy Advance. So, I had to put it off. And once I discovered the greatness of the Windows 10 game recorder, I realized it was possible after all but I would need a pretty good computer in order to do this, just to be sure that this went without a whole bunch of hitches, basically. I wanted to make sure this was very unproblematic as I could make it, and therefore, it's not until four or five years after it was requested yeah, I actually took a game request, imagine that, that I was finally able to do a Game Boy game on a very, very good computer, and therefore I'm doing that now. And I've been talking about this for about two minutes, so if you could not already tell, and you're about to tell by the demo, this is a 2D side-scroller, there are puzzle elements, the gameplay is structured in such a way for you to figure out that yes, there will be puzzle elements and you need to figure things out with your brain. And it's a very good way, it's a very good game when it comes to doing that. Matter of fact, I believe that the platforming and the puzzles, from what I could tell, were basically balanced. Very much balanced. And I've only played like the first two worlds, so everything past that is going to be blind, kinda. So, without further ado, we're going to start a brand new game. And this right here is from my Twitter tryout, so I'm just going to use one of these two empty save files to start the game with. And yeah, we might as well. Where did I come from? Where the blue winds blow? Where am I going? Where the white clouds flow? So if I dream, I'm sure to wake. Huh? Hey, what the? Stop! Hey! So, you're the stranger who dares to dream in my empire. Stranger? Where am I? This is the empire of Chilius, where dreams are forbidden. After all, Dreams won't put food on the table. If you have time to spare, you should play, work, or fall in love. Dreams are of no use. No! That's not true! Why is it so wrong to dream? Hm. You dare to defy me. Insolent boy. The Emperor suffers from insomnia, and you dare speak such nonsense? You shall pay for your insolence. Wait. Let us test his metal. His metal? There are four monsters terrorizing the land. 
Our gracious emperor shall pardon you if you get rid of them all. However, you will soon realize your folly. <laughs> Looks like we're in trouble now! Where is this place? And that's what causes me to have a lot of questions about the beginning of the plot, because apparently Kalanoa apparently seemed to have woken up somewhere that probably isn't even his own home. So I'm beginning to wonder how he even got here in the first place. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a clue. You're right! Let's go! And thus begins Klonoa Empire of Dreams. Apparently, Klonoa is in some kingdom that he probably knows nothing about, just woke up there without a chance or a clue, how he got there, we don't know. I'm assuming something happened to cause him to be here, but it's not explained. And now, we have to go through this world and take care of some people who are doing some not-so-nice things in this world. So... We, here we are at the world map screen. It is actually supposed to look like this, believe it or not. This isn't an anti-piracy screen or anything. It basically threw my brain for a loop for about 20 minutes, and I had to figure out if this was an anti-piracy screen or not, and turns out it's not! This is actually what it's supposed to look like. Even the manual shows the world map screen, and it looks like this on the manual. So there you go. So we have only one world to go to, which is Gazaland. And this is a pretty simple world, but as we go through these five worlds, things will get more difficult. For now, though, we will be learning the controls as we go into Gazaland, or Fighting City Gazaland. Um, excuse me, but... Hey, what was that for? Don't you wimps know anything? Here in Gaza Land, only strength is respected. Ouch, that hurts! If you love fighting so much, why don't you fight the monster? Well, not even our champ champion was a match for that beast. I'm beginning to think that Klonoa getting punched in the face is going to become a thing through this entire cutscene. Those two punches in the face, or what seem like two punches in the face, are any indication. So whoever defeats the monster becomes a new champion? Huh? But it's not that easy. And it might hurt, you know? Oh, jeez. So, where is this monster? It's on top of that mountain! Okay, let's check it out! Okay, let's go! Hey, wait! You don't stand a chance! And here we are at the map for Gossaland. So far, we can only do Vision 1-1. The stages in each world are called Visions. And we have 30 of these little gems that we can pick up. Also, we only have 3 lives. But that will change for the better... quickly. And as soon as you press the A button... Okay, let's begin. Collect all of these 6-point stars and head towards the exit. Stand before a sign and press up on the control pad. I almost wanted to read that as triangle for a second because PlayStation. And after that little brief tutorial we go straight to Vision 1-1. Control pad lets us move around. A lets us jump. 
B lets us shoot the wind bullet that allows us to grab enemies. And while we're picking up an enemy, we can still jump, we can still move around with ease. We can throw the enemy with B, but if we throw it in the air... Oh. Well, we can throw it in the air, but... Oh, wait. I know what to do now. If you press A while holding a enemy after jumping once, you can do a double jump. Forgot for a second how to do the double jump there for a second. Use a wind bullet to catch enemies and use them the double jump. Like so. I probably should have waited to explain that a little better. So these two green gems we picked up go towards the gem count for this vision. Collect 30 and I'm pretty sure you get an extra life. And this heart will replenish one of your hits in case you got hit. Also, if you hold A, you'll be able to do a hover. This is especially true after you do the double jump. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. And you can only aim the wind bullet left or right. That big blue gem we picked up is t worth 10 of the gems that we need to pick up for the vision. You don't necessarily need to pick them up, but they are worth picking up nonetheless. And there's one of the three golden stars that we need to pick up, and we are now up to 20 gems. By picking up all these golden six-point stars, we will be able to open up the exit for the vision. And something tells me I will probably need one of these enemies somewhere. And it'll probably be here. And thankfully I can hover to get the gems in this area. But I will still need an enemy ouch, to get up here. So let's grab an enemy, double jump, replenish that hit we just lost from the spikes, get that last golden six-point star. I don't know what items are called in this game. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. And we can open this door after getting those three gold stars. Press up to go through the door, and you're done. And apparently I did not get an extra life from completing that, or for getting all those gems. Oh well. I was under the impression that I did get lives for doing that, but apparently not. It's been a while since I did my initial test play of this game. So he here we are in Vision 1-2. We're going to be getting some more hints here. But where to start, though? Well, we can start by going to the left. That'll allow us to grab these three gems and make our way over here. And here's a block that play we can play around with. Boxes come in handy. Klonoa can climb on or throw them. They can be used over and over. So you can pick them up like you can enemies with the wind bullet. You can throw them in the walls. You can use them for your double jump. They're very nice and are very good reusable ways for you to get around in places. Now, we could use the monster to get all those things, but we can't get the star. We have to get that block all the way to the right, grab a monster, double jump with the monster. There you go. And as you can tell, these stages are easy right now. That will soon change. That gold Klonoa token gave us an extra life. So there is a way to get extra life in this game after all. And let's use our hover to get that blue gem. Apparently that one was worth 5, not 10 like I originally thought. And I believe I need to use the block and then the monster to get up here. That replenishes a hit that I didn't really need to replenish. Oh well. So, very basic, very linear, linear, li, 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 linear, very basic linear 
level design here. Really liking it so far. And there we go with all the gems. Now we just need to be careful. Make our way over here. And we have now reached the door, letting us leave the stage. Or vision, rather. And now it's time to go to another vision. I'll try to keep these videos 20 minutes like I have been doing for the last couple of Let's Plays. So this will probably be the last one that I do for this video. Vision 1-3. Well, we start off by jumping to the right. We can collect these things. And I guess I could use that, these monsters to get the gems here. I do want to explore more, though. Well, there's a key. I'm pretty sure that this key will unlock this door that looks just like this key if we just walk into it. And there you go. Thankfully, there is a symbol that reminds you, hey, there was a door here, but you unlocked it. Each door has a key with a matching shape. Use a circle-shaped key on a circle door, a triangle-shaped key on a triangle door. And we will get the triangle door key because we can see the silhouette for it down there. Aside from the gem count in the lives, you have three hits. And if you need the keys for the level, they will show up next to your health when applicable. Also, I should probably be going through that door because there's really nothing else to do here. So we got another set of things that we need to grab. So let's go ahead and grab these things first. We just got our th first gold star of the stage. And I'm going to wait on this enemy here just to be safe. And grab it again because I want that extra life. We've got two extra lives so far and already the game is kind of generous with them, so to speak. And you do have to throw the block over here to get it over here all the way to the right. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck. I should mention that. I should mention that there is a little bit of a block puzzle with these things, and since you can't go over, well, I guess you could go over there normally, but you could also use the double jump with the block to get back here. And we did see that triangle door earlier. We might as well go ahead and go through it now that we have the key. Finally acknowledge that door for the first time, and only time. And there's a door there, but we have yet to collect all the gold stars. You only need to collect the gold stars to open the door. You don't necessarily need to grab the gems, but I recommend doing it just so you don't have to backtrack through the, through the levels ever again just to get 100% completion on everything. Speaking of 100% completion, we have all the gems and all the stars. So we can finally go all the way back to the left. Use this guy to double jump to the door. And there we go. And we have two stages that we can go to next time. Vision 1-4 is a surfing minigame. And you will be playing through it just to figure out how best to move around and get all those gems. However, you will get extra lives as you do so, so keep playing through it. You'll get a bunch of extra lives. You will make this game a lot easier. And of course, Vision 1-5 is a stage we can't skip. That is a regular stage. So, we got two more stages to take on. And we will take them on in the next video. Join me next time where we go through more of the fighting land of Gaza Land. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!